ladies. Good evening. I am um, playing around in my uh, scrapbooking room tonight using the new flag border punch and the firecracker punch. I thought these would go great together for a 4th of July or some kind of centennial or bicentennial type of picture. Or summer. Just summer. Maybe that would be good too. I don't have my pictures picked out yet, what I'm going to put on the page. But um, just thought I would, would play around a little bit with these punches. And so I've cut one of the flag borders already and put it on the outside of my circle, which I used the uh, green um, blade with the large circle pattern. I used the green blade on the outside and the red blade on the inside. So that is my circle. And then I wanted to put the banner all the way around the circle. So that is what I'm working on now. And as you can see, what I did was I just made a cut um, here in between each of the banners in order to be able to um, wrap it around the circle. And so I have my second border cut out. And so I need to do the same thing here is cut in between them so that I can wrap it around. And I've cut pretty much almost to the edge. It has to be all the way up to the top uh, where you make your cut so that you can wrap it around the circle. And I'm using my repositional adhesive because it definitely works the best with this type of pattern on the paper, uh, getting it getting adhesive all the way. So now I just need to put my adhesive on, and then I kind of had to bend, uh, fold it over here in the in the middle, you know, make kind of like a crease to get it to wrap all the way around like so. And then I'm going to have to cut another one of these. Oh, this is going to look really nice. I'm really happy with the way this is looking. Let me just put some adhesive on my cut. And you just have to be real gentle. I'll show you what I'm doing here. You just have to be real gentle so that you don't pull them apart and just hold on to them as you're putting your adhesive on. I just love this repositional for all of these small or intricate pieces. It just works so well. Okay, so now I will position this and I'm just eyeballing it, you know, just trying to make sure I have maybe this, some kind of same width all the way around, but if not, then I can, I can reposition it because I'm using my repositional adhesive. And I can just turn it as I'm going here. This is looking really cute. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So now I'll make one more of my borders. And the great thing about these punches is you always have something left over. And like we've talked about before, I'm going to line it up here with the black mark and then uh, I'll make my first punch and then line up my um, punched out design with the tray. So I'll line that up. And I've been using this um, a lot tonight, so I may have some paper in there that's Okay, so I'm lining it up with that black line. I'm making sure it's um, on the guide at the back here on the tray so that my paper stays straight, and then punching. And then as I feed it through, I'm just lining up my pattern with the tray, with the pattern on the tray, making sure I still have it up against the guide. Just 
just moving, uh, moving slowly. Ooh. Taking my time. And it looks like I need one more cut or I can just pull it out and just snip those off. There we go. So, you know, there's always uh, leftovers after you've punched out your border and you can definitely use these for other embellishments on your pages. You've got one here that looks kind of like a wave or maybe a, a web, you know, you could use it to frame a picture. Um, you've got these little strips here. I'm sure there could, there's something you can use with these little, little strips. And then you've got the stars that came out of the sec center of that. So you can definitely put those aside and use those on your page. And then you've got this shape here. And again, you could do that around a, a picture. It could be a nice frame. So there's always creative things you can do with the pieces that are left over after you punch out your border. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I will make my cuts. And then I'm not going to need this whole border, so I will just do the first two. almost to the very top, almost cutting it completely off. And I think that's gonna get me all the way around, maybe just a little bit of that one. So I will just hand cut this off. It's actually going to work out really well. Okay, so again, I'm going to use my repositional adhesive. Oh, see, got to be real gentle. Otherwise, I'm going to try to move fast here. Just need to slow and steady. Okay. Now, I, uh, I know that some ladies like to use, you know, maybe on a, p a page like this, they would you could use just one picture in the middle and kind of highlight one picture. This could be uh, your um, opening page of your album. If you want to use one picture, it could be a tight, you could do a title uh, in the middle of this. I, I have, like I said, I haven't picked out my pictures yet for this page, but you know, you could definitely do some smaller ones and get, a, you know, several pictures in here of smaller things. Um, I know ladies like to use, get as many pictures on a page, and some ladies like to just do one. So whatever, you know, whatever style you like to use is awesome. And um, I really like the way this turned out. It's not really lined up well. But what I can do is make a title down here um, to um, use up some of the space that I have here, since I have more space down here than I do at the top. Um, you know, there's there's ways that you can put your embellishments um, and pictures on here so that it you can't um, you can cover up your mistakes. So. And it's not a mistake. There's no mistakes, really. It's scrapbooking. So you're going to have a title, you're going to have some embellishments, and it's going to look great. Um, no matter if it's centered and perfect or not, it's still going to be a gorgeous page. So um, the flag border is what I used. And then I'm also going to use my um, firecracker. And I hadn't cut, haven't cut any of those out yet. Um, but those are really cute. I'm trying to see if I have a piece of scrap paper here that I can 
show you the firecracker. So those are going to go really well with this page. So cute. A little firecracker. And of course there's little pieces after you cut out. But those are going to look great somewhere on the page. Um, and I'm excited. I'm This is going to look really great um, on for a summer page, for 4th of July, you know, for any kind of um, celebration really. Um, so I hope you guys have an awesome evening and I will talk with you soon. Happy scrapping.